and All we right. will talk more about our uh, our other you know affiliated events. Our community is actually we have one of the best communities I think. So many hardworking people. Yeah. Uh, but let's get into this match pretty soon. I think both players should be ready very very quickly here. We have Kazu on for the the final time tonight versus Gen Drag Fan. Uh, this will be Kazu's last match of the of the evening, and his last match until uh, until after the group stages, I believe. Uh, yeah. So Kazu uh, knocking out all of their matches right now. Uh, can't wait to see what is going to be coming from them, and uh, we're just getting straight into this match here. Um, can't wait to see what Jen has to offer here. You know, we had quite a bit of break before we've uh, talked about the logistics of the matchup, but uh, I'm very curious to see what kind of uh, play styles that Jen will bring into this. Um, got the uh, PPT background from Jen, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so we might. See yeah, some Jen like Drake and. Uh... Yeah, waiting right. patiently for this room to potentially load. There, there we, we go. go. We're in it to win it. All right. And both players again, starting with, oh, Kazu with a with a five four stack, not something you see too terribly often. Yeah, it looks like Kazu switching it up a little bit after the break, but uh, Jen had a six three going, going very fast, then swapping over to a nine zero, I believe due to a misdrop. But uh, Jen having to work with a lot of garbage right now. Hopefully uh, they can make it down. Yeah, simultaneous zones are happening, which is always a bit mm -hmm. of a scary sign because uh, usually if zones aren't simultaneous, you kind of have that room to uh, cancel any incoming cleaner damage from the zone attack. But that's uh, not a luxury that's afforded here. Mm -hmm. And now we see Gen Drag Fan receiving a couple lines, just going to top out off of that pressure from Kazu. Uh, even in that short round, we can see some very, very high scores uh, just in the amount of time. You know, it's crazy to think that in the amount that takes me like two minutes to accrue and score, it takes these people like 40 seconds. I know. It's absolutely crazy to see exactly what uh, these people can pull off. But we got a gen kind of embracing the full TEC meta here, just trying to fill up zone as fast as possible uh, with that 6-3 stacking. Um, leaving no mm -hmm. uh, no time to spare really just going all in for it except for right now starting off a full zone meter with a tst uh then just moving into some uh, t-spin and tetris stacking here uh kazu Great, he's he's to deal with, though. Ooh, kazu gonna still find no a ultimatress off of that that is just gonna wow and jen oh unfortunately just immediately accepted that garbage uh, very unfortunate there, but look at that! Jen's speeding up here, 130 drops per minute. Mm -hmm. Uh, amazing. Uh, Shen in chat, proprietor, uh, not proprietor necessarily, but proponent of the, uh, the sprint meta here. Uh, showing his support for Mr. Gen Drag Fan. We see Gen Drag Fan here, uh, forced to do some skimming, but... Still just sending attack. Kazu with a very interesting, like, intentional tank there not something you uh, i tend to see when i play tc super often yeah um uh, very uh it could be very helpful especially in these uh, earlier rounds here to uh you know tank some garbage especially when you can uh, kind of guarantee that it's going to be relatively clean mm -hmm. and that's uh that's what we've been seeing here uh but oh my god speaking of look at that insane amount of clean damage coming in from kazu's zone uh, it's, it's gonna give Jen quite a uh, decent platform to survive here, uh, especially these earlier phases. Uh, about yeah. halfway to that phase three transition, which is where Jen's gonna want to worry a little bit more about the board state, because uh, then the garbage is gonna get super cheesy really fast. Yeah, and the amount of pressure that you send going into phase three can be pretty huge, especially if that damage sends as clean. Uh, you can have opponents who. We'll just we'll just sit on that clean and then phase three just like kill you, kill you IRL. Yeah, uh, could that trauma could go into your real life as uh, you know Ren just mentioned, but uh, it looks like right now we're in phase three. Jen handling quite a bit well, except a few more misdrops are coming out right now, 
and uh, Kazu has quite a meaty zone here. So hoping to and see a uh, more attack zone there. with a, a gen with a only a quarter zone. Still receiving almost a full board. Let's see if he can get down. Some good garbage uh, management on Gendrek fan side. All right, yeah, so this is a quite a bit unfortunate there. Jen had some misdrops going into phase three and unfortunately uh, could not really get set. That is over one attack per piece gameplay from Kazu. Mm -hmm. Just a hair over. But it's still over and still that is over. a that is a scary reality to live in. Oh, Jen oh, no. misdropping that SZ uh, set up there. Just going to put him a bit on the back foot into yeah, this uh, round. Yeah, very unique fix there with that uh, that spin. Very uh, very cool mm -hmm. to see that come out. Uh, and yeah, striding through this zone here just to uh, make sure that uh, they can get back to the bottom of the board in a more uh, comfortable situation. Just going straight up for these Tetrises to be able to fill up the zone meter again. Uh, yeah, gonna be a helpful. Really, again. really speedy nine zero stack. Gendrak fan. Uh, those of you, those of you who know him from the PPT sphere will know that he's a very experienced tuning limit Tetris. Uh, sprinter in his own right. How about he's really fast, right? Like he's he's crazy. I'm pretty sure I don't know Chen's exact time, but uh, it's definitely it's definitely within. I'm pretty sure it's within the 35 second neighborhood, and uh, definitely able to take that speed over to Tetris spec connected, uh, which we are mm -hmm. seeing here in this match. Oh no! A misdrop from Jen is. Oh, good speed to cost him that. around there. But unfortunately, it just allowed Kazu to mount up a lot of pressure there, which uh, Jen could not respond to. Mm-hmm. Some crazy, crazy stuff. Kazu now up 4-0. Let's see if Jendrek fan can get on the get on the board a little. Another misdrop coming up from Jen. Man, this is a little rough, but and and Kazu here with a really, really strong setup, just sending. Uh, Gen Drag fan a huge amount of garbage. Of course, phase one garbage uh, going to be relatively clean, but does not help Gen Drag much when he misdrops, uh, as he has been doing. It's a very, very rough, but uh, it looks like Gen's going to be able to come out of it, come out of it swinging too, with a great TST find there. Yeah, Jen is uh, Jen's doing very well. As you can see, they're definitely not prioritizing the uh, the the score count. If you look there, definitely taking that on the back burner. Playing defense against Kazu, which uh, might actually be the best bet. Uh, hmm. But look at that zone right there. More than a full board of garbage, and unfortunately, just due to the uh, nature of a lacking efficiency in that zone, even though it really wasn't lacking. Look at those stats. Got 200 zone tech a minute, which is already good. And then Kazu's sling on 332. But like, yeah. that was a very fast zone from Jen, a 16 and 29, which didn't leave for the best opportunity to necessarily counter all that Kazu damage. But I mean, still doing very good, especially on the speed scale, uh, able to keep sure. up with Kazu there. And Jendrak fan with a very clean board here. Let's see if he's able to turn this into a significant attack. Gonna make, I think the that's a basis for a floater there. Gonna make a great float. And now he is going to send off that zone first. Let's see how big this attack is going to be. Great yeah, prospects, uh, for the zone right here. Great for Jen right now. Lots of T-spins being mixed in. We saw a little bit of IRS, I believe, coming in there. Helping mm -hmm. him uh, extend that zone a little bit more. IRS is a very powerful tool, as you're just going to be, uh, as you're going to see, used quite a lot in this tournament to maximize the zone clears that players are able yeah. to get. Uh, IRS or initial hold system uh, for those of you who don't know it is I don't super know the the ins and outs but it is a way to make your pieces spawn in a certain orientation those of you who play games like uh, like Tetrio or Justice are definitely used to one way of having your pieces spawn and working your way around that but with TEC where your piece spawns and how your piece spawns can be very very influential on uh the amount yeah. of damage you can do kazu showing that off right now with a great ultimatrice sending a full line spike or full board spike rather uh to jendrak fan and he's just gonna top out as so much attack you can see jendrak topped out but still had almost half a board of garbage left to come in
Yeah, man, Kazu's just been laying it on thick with these consistent alties, and uh, it's definitely going to be a hard force to beat, especially at the speed that, you know, we're seeing Kazu execute these zone games. Uh, but mm -hmm. got match point coming up here, 6-3 stacking for both players. Um, Jandrak Van turning on the Jets right now, uh, trying to get a bit of a dub for, for uh, our United States fans out there. Shout out, shout out to you if you love United States, you know? Yeah, I got some, uh, got some American representation here, but uh, Kazu's is really fighting strong for Japan as well. But uh, plenty mm -hmm. of more players from many nations here, including Japan, in this tournament. So, oh, Chandrak fan with a uh, Dexa Mexatrist, you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Still receiving uh, some amount of lines, but not enough to top him out. Still working with uh, now half a zone. And I believe he should have just enough to proc it and uh, live this situation. Oh, oh yeah, not really right there, but unfortunately, the top of the deck was not very friendly. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, look at that 143 drops per minute coming in. And the crazy thing about that is Jen was nearly playing at the same speed. That was a 135 game from Jen. It's crazy. This yeah, that's definitely uh, some of the fastest rounds that we've had mm -hmm. yet. Some very, very scary stuff, even from both players. Uh, Jen Drake fan, even, even after that 7-0, absolutely no slouch.